In this video, I'm going to show you how to prepare a panning camera. So inside the left viewport here, we are going to go to create cameras and place a free camera somewhere here. And similarly, we are going to go to the move command here and right click on it to call out the move transform type in so that we can adjust the height of the camera precisely. Under the absolute world coordinates here, we are going to change it to 1500, which is 1.5 meter here. And after we're done with this, we will right click on the top viewport here and press the shortcut key C to look at the camera. And then, we are going to reposition this camera so we are able to see everything here. So, let's change this one to a shaded view first by pressing the F3 button. So that if we move this, you realize we will be inside the, the 3D model, the interior of this 3D model. Something we won't want to do at this point, okay? So we're going to move this camera backwards outside and drag it along to make sure we can see the whole structure from the exterior. For example, I'm just going to shift this a little bit further back to see this. All right. And once we are done with this, I'm going to position the camera at the start point. And this will be our end point. Okay. And we are going to turn on the auto key. And we are going to click on set key first. So once we press the set key, you will see that there will be a key added down here. And then we are going to drag the time bar all the way to the end here. And we are going to drag the camera all the way to the end, this way. And then when we do a playback, once we are done with this, we can stop the auto key and we can do a playback. And you will now see the camera is actually panning from top to the bottom of the top view. When we right click on the camera viewport, we will now be able to see the animation this way. Again, if we will want to see the camera animation in all viewports, we would right click on the play button here. And under the playback section, we are going to uncheck the active viewport only and click OK. And then when we play it back again, you will realize that all the viewports will have the camera animation being shown. Alright.